In this lesson, we will see how we can use the calculator to solve problems. The first problem is simultaneous equations. Switch on the calculator and we press the menu button. Then we scroll down and choose 5 for equation. 1 for simultaneous equations and there are two unknowns, x and y, so we choose 2. Before we enter the values, we must make sure that the equations are in the order of x, y, followed by the number on the right. The first equation, the coefficient of x is 3. We press 3, followed by the equal sign. Next, negative 2, followed by the equal sign. And on the other side is 1 followed by the equal sign. Similarly, for the second equation, coefficient of x is 2, y is negative 1, and on the right hand side is 3. Once we have finished entering the values, we press equal again, and this will give us the answer, x is 5, and press equal again, y is 7. Now let us go back. We now want to solve the quadratic equation. So we choose 5 for equation again, and this time we choose polynomial. which is 2. The power is a square, which is 2. So we press 2 for the degree. And now, again, we must make sure that the equation is in the right order. x squared followed by x followed by number equals to 0. So we key in the coefficient of x squared, which is 6, followed by the equal sign. Then we have 7 equal sign and negative 5 okay. so once again we press the equal sign to get the answer the first answer x is half and the second answer is negative 5 over 3 which is negative 1 and 2 thirds Now we need to get the factors from the answer. To do that, we look at the answer and make the right hand side 0. We first multiply x by 2, so we have 2x equals to 1. Then we bring the 1 over, so we have 2x minus 1 equals to 0, and that is the first factor. For the second factor, multiply by 3, so we have 3x equals to minus 5, bring the 5 over, 3x plus 5 equals 0, that is the second factor. Now we will go to clear the screen. And we move on to find the mean in statistics. Before we can uh, continue, we must first set the calculator. So when you switch on the calculator, this is what you see. Press shift followed by the menu key and scroll down choose 2 for statistics. We should switch on the frequency, which is 1. Now we press the menu key and scroll, scroll right to the statistics icon. 
choose three for statistics one for the one variable and now we are, we can enter the values the first value is five and there's only one five so the frequency is one followed by seven eight and nine once we have uh, completed we choose the option key and choose three for calculation now we have the mean which is 7.25 the sum of all the scores the total scores is 29 EX is 29 and if we want to find the total number of items we can scroll down and N is 4 because there are 4 numbers and this gives our answer 7.25 let's go back press the option key and press the option key again now we want to see how we can calculate the mean for the table data for table data we have a frequency and uh, we press 3 again uh, sorry Like that one variable now we still see the previous value so we can uh, choose two the editor and to delete away all the values before we start again okay so now x is two three five and six we key in these values first two three five and six right now we scroll to the other side go up to the first value which is two and there are three frequency of uh, two is three followed by seven two and eight Now we are ready to calculate the values. Press the option key and press 3 again for calculate. And this time we have the EX is actually the value of EFX. That means the frequency times the score all added up. In the calculator is shown as EX, but it's actually EFX. Is 85 and again if we want to see the number of items which is the total frequency which is n is 20 and the mean is 4.25 and this completes the lesson thank you